Hey, this is Dan from MSS Enduralis. Welcome to the channel. You don't know anything about what's coming. Okay, guys, got another um, topic here we got to cover, and that's uh, basically marauders, you know, or, or the prepper wolves, people that just stock up guns, and their plan is to just prey on other people, on other preppers. I forget the guy's name. There was a remember that show, Doomsday Preppers. And this guy was just planning on taking from others. <clears throat> he had a 22 and uh, it a double barrel shotgun, I don't remember. But I mean, it wasn't anything tactical. He just planned to, you know, pick it up from others. But that was his plan. And there's going to be those guys out there, but, you know, they're going to have ARs and other stuff because they're going to just put money in firearms and plan to take it. <clears throat> now, if it's just you and let's say the wife against 10, 15, 20, you're not going to win that. You know, I mean with me, I don't, I'm not going to win that. And I might have 20 people come after me if that happened. But 20 aren't leaving. Hey, this is Dan from MSS Enduralist. And today, I wanted to talk about that mindset. 20 may come, but 20 aren't leaving. So stay tuned. 20 may come, but 20 aren't leaving. The end result is still the same. You are dead. They have your preps, your supplies, and they're probably doing horrible and horrific things to your wife and children. There must be a better way. Tom talks later in his video about uh, making booby traps uh, to defend the area around his bug out location. He talks about uh, setting up firing zones and things of that nature, which are all well and good. There's not an issue with that whatsoever. But the end result is the same. Entering into a combat situation that you know from the outset you cannot win. This is my opinion and my thoughts. First of all, if 20 people are able to get to your bug out location in mass after an SHTF, you have fundamentally failed somewhere in your operational security or OPSEC. The idea is not to create a battle space, but to create an area that is so inaccessible that it's not worth their effort to try to get into it. That it is such a task to get close to where you are that the rewards don't outweigh the difficulty and they go somewhere else. You don't ever want to enter into a armed conflict that you cannot win. In my opinion, the reason to prep and prepare and have weapons and ammunition is not so if there's an SHTF we can run around like cowboys shooting everybody we see, but so when we're forced into that corner, which we should never be if we're doing things properly, then we can defend ourselves. They are not a weapon of first choice. It is a last resort that we want to go to slinging lead downrange. The idea of bugging in or bugging out is not the idea of shooting at everybody who walks 
within proximity of your area. It's not being Rambo. It's about protecting your family at all costs. Even if that means at some times giving up what you've prepped to keep your family alive for that day. And that's what it comes down to. It's not about being prepared and having everything set up for a year or two years. That's all well and good, but you can't carry that many supplies. Your mindset should be today and once you've made it through that day, the next day. It's great to have stuff set aside, don't get me wrong, but you shouldn't have things that you have an issue of losing. Yes, it's a setback, but your family is much more important. Would you rather give up your food supplies or watch your wife and children be shot down? It's your choice. You're ultimately responsible for your family, and your decisions will decide whether they live or die in an SHTF situation. Again, this is just my opinion, and this is Dan from MSS Enduros. Until next time, take care of each other. And be sure to check out Tom Addo's channel. He's got some amazing videos up there. It's a great channel.